in this video, I want to show you uh, how to add, say, all the numbers from 1 to 100. <coughs> now, if you know how to add from 1 to 100, you can add from 1 to any number. So I will go about explaining how to add from 1 to 100. And from that, using that intuition, you can add from 1 to 500 or 1 to 1,000, any number. Okay. So yeah, I have written a, I've started with this S10, I say is the addition from 1 to 10, or is the sum, sum from 1 to 10. So S10 is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 6 up to 10. So the same thing can be written in the reverse order like this. S10 can also be written as 10 plus 9 plus 8 plus 7 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 to 3 plus 2 plus 1. So this and this are the same. Now if you pair up 1 with 10, what is 1 plus 10? Is 11. 9 plus 2 is 11. 3 plus 8 is 11. 4 plus, 4 plus 7 is 11 and so on. Okay, can you see a pair here? This is a pair, okay. Uh, this is a pair and so on okay so all of them are pairs okay so if you add these pairs all these pairs gives you what all these pairs gives you how many 11s look at I have made up in pairs of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so you have 10 pairs of 11 so Adding S10 twice means 2 times S10 is 11 how many times? 10 times. It can be written as 10 times 11. If you add 11 10 times, it's same as multiplying 10 with 11. Okay, now the next step is, I want to get rid of this 2, so I'm, let me use a different color. Okay, brighter color. So if I, I'm dividing both sides by 2, to cancel this two, so if you can, if you divide this side by two, you would also divide this side by two. Okay, so now finally you can say S10 is 10 times 11 divided by two, and you know 10 times 11 is 110, and 110 divided by two is 55. Okay, you can add it, you will find it is 55. So this is a smart way of adding from one to 10. Okay, now what happens if you want to add from 1 to, say, if you want to add from 1 to 20? Okay, this is on the next page. So if you want to add from 1 to 20, what will happen? Okay, I'll go step by step. So S20, I have written as 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, plus dot, dot, dot. I, don't, I, don't, I haven't written all the numbers. That is plus 18 plus 19 plus 20. So I'm going to write the same thing in the reverse order. The reverse order would be S20 is 20 plus 19 plus 18 plus 17. So now look at how many pairs of, this is one pair of 21. This is the second pair of 21. This is the third pair of 21. Fourth pair of 21. So how many pairs of 21 will you get if you add from 1 to 20? If you add from 1 to 20, you get 20 pairs of 21. Okay, so that's what I've written. So if you add S20, that means you add A1 to 20 twice, you are getting 2 times S20. So you'll get 21 how many times? 21 times. So this can be written also as 20 times 21. 20 times 21. Okay, so the next step is I have divided this side by 2 to get rid of this 2. So I have to divide this side also by 2. So, and now 20 times 21 is 420. Let me remove the uh, veil. So this is 20 times 21 is 420. Divided by 2 is 210. This can also be done like this. Uh, if you don't know, if you don't want to multiply, you can divide 20 by 2. What is 20 by 2? 20 by 2 is 10 times 21. 
that will also give you the same answer of 210. Okay, finally, what happens if it is S100? So S100 I have written 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the numbers between 3 and 98 plus 98 plus 99 plus 100. The same thing in the reverse order is 100 plus 98, 99 plus 98 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. So how many lots of, this is one lot of 101, this is the second lot of 101, this is the third lot. So how many lots of 101 would you get? You're adding from 1 to 100, so you get 100 lots of, you'll get 101, you have to add 101, 100 times. That is same as 100 times 101 divided by 2. Now, why did, I divide, why did I divide by 2? To get rid of this 2. So, this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. So, S100 is 5050. If you have got time, you can check it on a calculator. You add from 1 to 100, it will be 5050. So, what's the formula? You can make up a formula. If you look at the pattern, let me go to the first number. So, this is, if you want to add from 1 to 10, it is 10 times 11 divided by 2. Okay, if you want to add 1 to 20, it is 20 times 21 divided by 2. If you want to add from 1 to 100, it is 100 times 101 divided by 2. So, I, can you see a pattern here? Suppose if someone is asking, if you want to add S, you want to add the first 50 numbers. S, you want to find S50. So, looking at the pattern, can you say you have to go... 50 times what? 50 times 51, the next number, divided by 2, which is, uh, you can divide 25 by 2, sorry, uh, uh, sorry, 50 by 2, which is 25 times 51, okay? I don't know 20, okay? So I want to do, I know, sorry, this is 25 times 51. So how can I do without the, I don't want to use the calculator. So how would I do? So I know 20 times, 25 times 50 is how much? 25 times 50 is, I know 25 times 5 is 125. So it's, this is 1250. And... Then I have to go 25 times 1. 25 times 1 is 25. So now you can think. I'm using a mouse to write this. I'm just taking a lot of time. So this is 1275. So what's the general formula? Now if you want to formulate a formula, Sn, let me use a different color a darker color. So you can write this as a formula. Sn, that means n is any number of, any number from 1 to, it can be 100, uh, 50, 500, 5000, 10,000, whatever. It will be n is the last number times the next number is n plus 1, n times n plus 1 divided by 2. So in this case, in, the, in this case, in this case, your n was 50. So it is 50 times 51 divided by 2. When it was 100, your n was 100. So 100 times the next number, which is 101. Hopefully this video has been useful. See you in the next video.